aware of what is going on to be another virus which is spiritual which has been with us already and we are trained to really take care of this virus we also have our own protection from this virus so what we are trying to emphasize for protection is the holy rosary as promised by our lady of fatima she will do her part as god will if we do our part at this point in time there are many distractions distraction is this corona virus everybody everybody's attention is focused on that and what i am afraid of is as we are focused on that there are those who are planning things which will be against our values against the plan of god and in terms of legis legislation uh, seizing it palulusutin okay because we are not focused on the legislations this time in fact uh, we don't get much news of what is going on in our congress baka isang araw magising na lang tayo nakalusot na yung ating binabantayan ng mga batas na hindi dapat mangyari so i think the holy spirit through this virtual presence of everybody in the internet has also given us an instrument to be well informed and much much more to inform everybody of what we know of, of what we have heard or what we might even just suspect to inform everybody about what's going on so that together we can as one faith one with one god and one mother defend what we should defend see there is the virus of divorce there is the virus of uh, abortion there are many other virus that really threatens our faith and we have to be very very strong in sensing what might lead to a destruction of the values of our faith that was my meditation last night as i watch uh, the television things are happening in congress which we do not know and which we are not informed so it can happen that one day there is already a big fire and we are not aware of it and things will just move and it is harder to counteract something that has already been done so remember our enemy is not a simple enemy our enemy is the most intelligent spiritual at that and has succeeded through the years and is really planning to attack us so that we will just be helpless and therefore we need not only the spiritual help which is guaranteed by our blessed mother of fatima but also for us not to be ashamed to be aware and pass on so that 
we can create a big, big mass. Even now, even without the danger, we can already put fortification, so to speak. As we are doing it with the, with the coronavirus, we wear a mask, we keep distances. Let us also reflect on what we can do. And one of the things that we can do is to inform everybody of what we might be suspecting as a design to lower and destroy the values that we have in our faith. Never forget that the Philippines is a Catholic country and therefore it is a target and it has been targeted and we are already a witness to how our brothers and sisters have fallen into the traps of the evil spirit. If you, if you look back, the things that are happening now were not happening before. Why? Because the church was not prepared to meet it. In fact, it became even an instrument so that the virus of the evil one will enter our life. So that is my, my fear now. There is so much talk about the coronavirus, the virus that can destroy our values, and the values of our faith is also being planned with very strong and good advocates following the will of man and not the will of God. We are to follow the will of God, not the will of man. And that is why the argument should not be, this is how I feel. Well, this is the way I see things. No, it is not I, it is not us. It is the way God feels, the way Christ feels, the way God wills, not only feel, but but wheels. I think the, the big mistake of the Western world was to rely so much on the feelings and not on the intellect and the will. Remember our nature and our source is that we were created in the image of God. This image of having a will and an intellect. The feeling is the part of the humanity, but part of the divine in our nature is our intellect and will. So, uh, that we should use when we are dragged to the argument that this is the way we feel, this is the way we see things, it should be the way God sees things that we have to inculcate in ourselves and others also. So it is not the will of man, but the will of God that we have to protect and argue. Because today, that will is set aside. And when we set aside that, we set, we set aside the whole message of Christ in the New Testament. So we pray for this and be on the watch because the devil is like a roaring lion ready to devour anybody who is not on the watch and who does not see the things the way God sees things. Amen. Amen. Maybe it has, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, no, but uh, there is a, t a trend towards that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm part of the uh, the Diocese Marriage Tribunal, Pads, Padre. Uh -huh. so we have the judicial vicar who handles all nullity cases. 
Actually, uh, we don't have annulment in the church, but we have uh, 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 annality cases, meaning there's no uh, marriage in the first place. There are grounds for annality. There are 12 so, grounds for annality, and the church, the local church of the diocese, uh, the judicial vicar is the one on top of that. They have, it's, it, they, it's, it's run like a court. You have a defender of the bond, which is also a priest, and then you have a, a lawyer, an advocate for the, for the, ano po, for the parties. So, mm. ano yan, Gino? Bawat diocese merong judicial vicar, merong, mer mm. merong um, marriage tribunal, so, na nag-handle niyan. So, pwede yan sa local Did church. To decide Aket -aket one. Yan. Aket. No. Okay, Aket yan. Aket yan hanggang makarating sa Roma. Parang pero, sila talaga yung ano. Pero may mga may mga tinatawag po nila na uh, yung briefer process na uh, na even the bishop can can ano po can can rule on that. Binigay po naman po yun na pwede. Kasi nga Ah uh, simple lang naman siguro maliwanag ho talaga yung ano yung conditions na wala talagang kasal na nangyari in the first place. So yun. Ah uh, yeah. tapos yeah. si certify na lang po sa Rome yun padre. Yeah. So ito yun eh. This is this is not divorce. This Opo, is a divorce. This is a declaration that Opo, there nali. was no more no marriage yes. that happened. So th these yes. are two different things. Although what you will see is separation, di ba? Yeah. Pero it is different. Divorce is a separation of a valid marriage. Yes, yes. So, it, itong sinasabi ni uh, Josephine, sinasabi ni Josephine, is a declaration that there was no marriage. Mm -hmm. So, hindi divorce yun. Mm -hmm. Ang sinasabi doon, hindi kasal yun dalawa. So, pwede silang mag-asawa pa uli. Kinasal sila, Padre, pero... Pero hindi valid. Essential, yeah. hindi valid. Hindi valid. Hindi valid. Hindi valid. Hindi valid. Hindi valid. Marriage, eh. okay. Because marriage is a contract. Yes. Oo, so, if the, if the elements of the contract are not present, then hmm. there is no contract. Ayun yes. yun. So, okay. declare lang yun. Kaya kayang, kayang pag-usapan kung hmm. saan nangyari. See? Mm -hmm. So so it's different. When we speak of divorce, meron talagang valid marriage. May kasal talaga. Oo na nangyari. Uh, gusto maghiwalay. Opo. Ayun, ibang ibang klase 'yun. Opo. Okay. Pero pag sa alam niyo, maraming mga kaso doon na like for example, pinilit lang sila kasi dati yeah. uso yung shotgun marriage ganyan. Yeah. O di kaya sumunod lang sa magulang kasi Dati, pag sinabi ng magulang, eh, talagang utos ng hari, hindi mo babali. So, uh, na, na ano po yun, na nanalify. Kasi in the first place, wala pong consent. Walang, walang ano, hindi mo valid yung, ano, yung marriage kasi napilitan lang. O yung iba, kinikidnap, tapos kakasal na pagkatapos. So, pero na, parang korte po yun eh. Kailangan patunayan talaga. Yeah. So, pag napatunayan okay. yun, hindi rin mananalify yung marriage. O minsan, yung mga madadaling grounds po, ano eh, hindi ho uh, in the first place, yung nag-officiate ng marriage, hindi authorized. license. May nangyayari po yun eh, hindi authorized. Po. Mm. So, yun know, yung easy way. Or yung iba, may mga previous marriage, yan. Tapos, magpapakasal. Or iba, underage po, hindi siya wala sa tamang ano, edad. So, marami pong ganun. Yeah. E lalo na ngayon, Gino, diniklara ng Pope, di ba, walang bayad. So, ang daming pending, pending na, ang daming, ano, ang mahal kasi sa korte, pag sa korte po, nagpapa-annulment. So, ang daming, 300,000, uh, tribunal, 300,000, 300,000. Oo, parang ganun. E sa church, ano, very that? minimal, very minimal. Gino, nag, nag, Gino, bakit alam mo? Ang kurasado ka, Gino. Lanuanan ni Gino, ha? Bakit yan yung question mo, Gino? Hindi, actually, hindi, I have friends who got into marriages 
and then it did not work out. So, mm. so I was do I was uh, as a social worker. I am trained to probe, so to mm. go beneath the to go beneath and look at the underlying cause. So, mm. tama si Jo. Uh, kaya lang kasi you have to as father. Okay, uh, let's 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 take it from what Father said. God is true. God is pure. So since marriage is a sacrament that uh, holds on the truth of God, holds on the purity of God, as 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 what the Bible says, what God has united, let no man, let no man put them under. So you see, uh, the problem kasi today with marriage, although it is a sacrament, most people do not see it as a sacrament. They see it as a a physical contract lang. O sige, sama tayo. Yun lang. Pero pag may konting kahirapan na, pag nag-aaway, pag na, pag uh, hindi na raw, iba na raw ang paniniwala, sinasabi, let's dissolve the partnership. Let's dissolve the contract. See? So in essence, they do not believe in the presence of God. Kasi as Father said, the truth is, Marriage is an institution by God. And di ba sinabi ng pare, when, when you were two, you become one with God. You and God are now one. It's neither man nor woman. It's man and woman with God. Di ba, Jo? Alam, alam mo, dati, nung bago ko nagprobono dyan sa marriage tribunal, actually, ay, ayoko mag-facilitate eh, kasi naisip ko, ganyan, ganyan ang pag-iisip ko. Sabi kong ganyan, Ang paniwala ko, di kinasal sakramento yan, tapos hindi kayo pwede paghiwalayin. Pero, ang daming ano eh, ang daming irregularities na ikinasal, ang daming, uh, ang daming din nagsasuffer. So, sabi kong ganyan, pwede naman sigurong ayusin. Kailangan may, nag, may nag-a-accompany pa rin sa kanila. Kasi in the first place, uh, hindi rin maganda. They want to go to the Lord. They, they want to receive the sacrament. They want to, uh, you know, they want to practice their faith. Kaso ang nagiging barrier, yung situation nila ngayon sa marriage nila, yung difficult marriages nila, eh, mismo naman ang Santo Papa nagsasabi na may ano, may, uh, pwede naman silang lumabas. Parang ganun. Kasi nga, may mga conditions, eh. Uh, may mga conditions. So, Aya, ayan, tumutulong din ako doon. Uh, pero, Diyos ko, ang sakit sa ulo talaga. Pansa nag, <laughs> nag, ano, nag-face to face ako sa kanila. Uh, grabe, uh, uma, ano, sumasakit yung ulo ko talaga. So, sabi ko, ang hirap. Kasi nga, nire-relieve yung nangyari in the past. Eh, ito, yung, yung mga clients ko, tatandaan eh. Tapos, minsan, dying wish na lang nila yun na manali pa yung previous marriage nila. Kasi, itong kinakasama nila ngayon, for, yun na yung, ano talaga eh, yun na yung, Gusto na lang nila bago sila mamatay, ma-regularize yung union. Kasi nga, uh, yun. Eh, kawawa yung mga ganun, Gino. So, kailangan tulungan din. Uh, mad- madali eh. Mad- kasi tayo-tayo, yung faith natin, ganun tayo. Ako, personally, ganun ako eh. Uh, binigay sa akin ni Lord yan. Nagtingin ko dyan, kahit may factory defect, hindi ko lang pwede ibalik yan. Kasi for life yan, ano. So, for better and for worse tayo, di ba? Ganun tayo. Eh, how we wish, ganun lahat. <laughs> Jo, 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 ganito. Sabi ng kibigan ko, sabi ng kibigan ko, no, there is such thing as for better or for worse. Pero sinabing, hindi for worse for life, hindi, hindi cruel punishment for life, hindi suffering for life. Sinabing, pag sinabing for better or for worse, there is a way to dialogue, there is a way to compromise, there is a way to be united in differences, but still be one. Pero kung tama yung sinabi mo, kung palaging uh, perwisyo, palaging uh, hirap, palaging pasakit, naiintindihan ko yung sinasabi. Pero ang sinasabi rin ng church, uh, tama yung sinabi mo, the church just needs to be convinced that there was no sacramental union. Kung talagang mapatunayan na talagang walang sacramental union, Eh, tama yung sinabi mo, i-grant ng church yung naliti ng sacrament. Dahil talagang hindi na, walang na-consummate, you know. Pero that's question, how does the truth come out? How do you make the truth 
come out for both parties to be truly free and be one again with God. When the two of them Adiyan are eh. all... Oh. Sige, sige. Ano yan, proseso nga yan, katulad ng sinabi ko sa'yo kanina, parang korte siya, nag nagpo-file kung sino yung interesado na magpa-nullify ng marriage, magpa-file ng petition yun. So, hmm. kung mas karamihan, conform sila, sabay silang uh, nagpo-file, nagko-conform, pero minsan, pag may nag-o-post, doon tumatagal, kasi nga, kailangan mo ng witnesses, kailangan ng hearings, talagang patunayan mo yung sinasabi mo doon. Kunyari, sinabi mo na because of reverential fear, kaya ka nag pakasal, ay eh kailangan buhay ang nanay at tatay mo para tumayo doon na sabihin na talagang because of that, that reason o di kaya meron kang meron ka talagang ano, uh, evidence na ganun talaga kasi hindi mo pwedeng i-allege yun eh pag, pag ganun lang eh so uh -oh. kunyari sinabi mo because of uh, immaturity yung immaturity na yan, makikita naman yan eh anong edad kayo nag-asawa uh, anong condition ng mind yun at that time Uh, makikita kasi kung pinupulfill mo yung responsibilities mo, yung mga tipong ganon. So, kailangan ng proofs lahat yun, Gino. Hindi siya mm -hmm. pwede, basta in mo, ano, mm -hmm. uh, tatanggapin na na ng tribunal yun. So, uh, yun. Uh, ano yan? Uh, ano, uh, ang dami nag-go through niyan ngayon, kasi nga, in the first place, bago yung, ano eh, bago yung, uh, nakikita ko, ano sila, yung mga, gusto nilang pumasok sa simbahan pero ang impediment nila is yung situation ng marriage nila. Eh, buti na acknowledge ng Pope yun. So, mm. uh, yun. Nagkamali kasi sila sa umpisa eh. So, alam nga naman pagdusahan nila buong, ano, buong, buong buhay nila yun. At saka may grounds talaga kasi uh, may essentials kasi yung obligations yung marriage. Eh. So, pag wala isa lang doon lacking, hindi talaga siya pwedeng tumayo na, na sakramento. So yun, okay. Okay. Yung yung kanina, yung 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 lahubog tayo. Naiasa lahat sa ibang tao, lalo sa mga pare, sa mga madre. Hindi tayo lumaki na responsible tayo sa ating church, sa ating faith. Lagi tayo kumakaasa sa iba. Look at just the 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 phenomenon. Pag may eleksyon, tatanong sa pare, tatanong sa madre, sino iboboto natin? Hindi ka ba nag-iisip? Hindi mo ba sinusundan ang iyong, ang iyong pamahalaan? Hindi mo ba sinusundan ang mga kandidato? Bakit kailangan itanong pa sa akin? See? Kaya, in building the church, sabi natin, the church, eh, tayo, yung mga members, is are the baptized, no? Eh, pag, yes, hindi mo, pag hindi mo ilistrengthen, yung members to be truly members active, knowing and doing what they should be doing, walang mangyayari. Ganyan lang nangyayari, nangyayari sa ibang mga bansa. Okay? Kailangan meron tayong personal responsibility sa ating pamahalaan at sa ating mga, sa ating society. Hindi yung inaasa lagi sa iba. Ito ang habit ng mga katoliko. Eh. Inaasa sa CBCP, inaasa sa mga madre, inaasa sa mga pare, hindi sila kumikilos ng kanilang sariling uh, kagustuhan. Ayun. Father! So, yeah, Father! Tapos, oh, sorry, tapusin sorry. ko lang. Tapusin okay. ko lang. So, the strength of the church is a militant member who knows their faith and knows how to defend their faith and who knows what to do in unison. Together, ito yung body of Christ na responsible. Okay? Kasi pwede magkaroon later on ng dalawang pananaw eh. Isang pananaw ng clergy. Kamukha niya sa election, di ba? Ibang pananaw nila. Ibang pananaw ng tao. Sino ang tama? So pag-uusapan. Hindi yung isa, sunod lang na sunod. Kung hindi, meron silang sariling kaisipan and this is training in the, in, in the maturity of the faith. Kasi pag dumating ang panahon na kailangan tayo manindigan, hindi tayo titingdig kung ang ating desisyon depende sa ibang tao. 
dapat ang desisyon natin depende sa ating uh, desisyon. Then, pwede tayong mamatay sa ating desisyon. Today is the feast of the African martyr, Charles Luanga. Yes. Yan ang, yan ang, yan ang mga uh, material for martyrdom. Handa silang mamatay sa kanilang paniniwala. Ayun. Father. Yeah. Father. Yes, what yes. was the purpose what was the purpose in the creation of the Philippine Plenary Council because there have been there already have been two uh, council meetings and then I remember here in our archdiocese they just discuss what uh, resolutions uh, came out in the plenary council of the the second plenary council of the Philippines but in the first place uh, the, the this, this plenary uh, council is composed of Catholic leaders from bishops to uh, lay, lay, people. To the lay, lay people, religious people. What exactly is the purpose of the Philippine Plenary Council? Ito, very good question. I am happy you asked it. This was a council for the first time mas marami ang lay kesa sa clergy and religious. Okay? Ang, ang assumption natin kasi, laging pag mayroong council na ganyan, the Holy Spirit is there. Okay? So, anong isang napakagandang decision ng council na yan? That the reformation in the church will happen through the basic ecclesial communities. Yung BEC na tinatawag. Yes. Diba? Di ba yun? Nandun yun eh. Yes. Yes. Now, look, if you have a copy of this plenary council, remember, uh, uh, try to read number 143. 143 is famous sa mga teenagers yan. 143 is I love you. Okay? So, yung number na yun sa second plenary council, basahin mo, nakalagay doon ang feeling ng reform na ito. There will be pain. There will be difficulties. But we have to try the new things which the council proposes. Tanong ko sa'yo, Gino, what is the progress of the basic ecclesial communities in our church? Well, Father, the... Napaka, napa Napakabagal. Yes, kasi, yes, I agree. Kasi puro objection, puro objection. Kesyo mahirap sa city, mahirap kesyo ganito, merong mahirap na ganyan. Pero hindi naman sinasabi ng council na madali. Sinasabi mm -hmm. ng council na mahirap. Kaya kailangan yes, pinagaan. See? So, ganito tayo. Wala tayong talagang masa na Pilipino, na Catholics, na magkakaisa sa isang bagay na kanilang pinagnilay-nilayan para gawin. Kundi laging nakadepende pa rin sa authorities ng church na sila ang mag-isip para tayo susunod na lang o mga tao susunod na lang. This is the point that I am trying to, to teach our group. Maging aware tayo, mag-aral tayo para the strength of the church, which is the lay. Yun, yun ang, yun ang strength ng church. Eh, lay. We priests and we religious are to, to guide, to teach, to celebrate the sacrament. Pero yung, kata, yung katawan ng simbahan, yun ang tao. That is the mystical body of Christ. Yun dapat na intindihan. Kaya nga, yung sinasabi mong Second Plenary Council, gumawa ng mechanism para sa buong mga paroke, ng mga paroke sa Pilipinas, itatag yung basic ecclesial community, which is a grouping of the families so that they will learn their faith, stand by their faith, and implement the decisions of their faith. Yun ang kulang pa sa atin. Kasi nga, nahubog tayo 
na to be a Catholic is to go to church. Yun. Yun lang. Doon tayo lumaki eh. Kaya nga, di ba, nadidinig nyo ang evangelization ng Pilipinas eh hindi naman evangelization kundi sacramentalization. We were invited or taught to go to the sacraments which is really very important. Pero evangelization is living the values of the gospel. So, sinasabuhay ba natin yung values ng gospel? Yun ang malaking question mark. Kasi nga, ano nangyayari? Pagkalinggo... Oh, other excuse. Oh. So, pagkalinggo... Other here in Mindanao... Uh, very strong. Very strong ang BEC sa Mindanao. Yun, yun ang magandang yes. model. Yun ang magandang model. Yes. Well, but Father, was, you know, the, what's interesting... Yeah, yeah. What is interesting, the church has decided... The church said, we will no longer insist on the neighborhood model. For example, like, I ask my parish priest, can uh, the group of lay ministers in a parish become a BEC? Sabi niya, pwede. So even Legion of Mary can become a BEC. Yes. Mali, 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 mali yan eh, mali yan. Mali po yun. Mali, mali yan eh. Hindi yan ang, hindi yan ang, hindi yan ang BEC. BEC eh. Families of BEC. BEC is the life of the church in the families. Hindi sa organizations. Kasi yung organizations, may sariling, kwa niyan eh, may sariling objective yan mga yan eh. It, it, it is not for all. Selective yan eh. Selective yan. Yung BEC is for all the baptized in the parish. Yes. To form groups. So, yes. ito, yung, ito yung shortcut na ginagawa ng kaparihan eh. Because it is very difficult to go house to house, form the, uh, the families together, and teach them. Pagtsatsagaan yan eh. Yes. That, that is why it is the life of the church. It is the church growing in faith, not the organizations. Old model na yan, organizations. Mm -hmm. yan, yan yung mga grupo ng katoliko sa parokya na laging nag-aaway. Nagpapataasan ng langko. Okay? Pads, dito sa city, napansin ko, malakas ang BEC 